What's going on, Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy, and today I am introducing our first guest creator to ever come on to Wix Training Academy. I had asked you guys for some feedback back at the end of 2020 on if you would like to see some more guest creators on the channel to expand the content offering on the channel, and it was an overwhelming yes. I told you I had big plans for 2021, and this is the best way to kick them off with my friends over at Authoritech, particularly Brendan from Authoritech, is going to be showing you guys today how to use Wix Fetch to get data from a third-party API here on Wix. You wanted advanced Velo tutorials and you've got them. Brendan is your man here today. I just wanted to introduce him let you know that they're doing some exciting things over at Authoritech, and I am super thrilled to have them as our first guest here on the channel. You're in for a real treat as far as content goes, but this goes without saying, if you guys haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you never miss any content here on the channel. And now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to Brendan and let him show you guys how to fetch data using the third-party API here on Wix, particularly in Velo. Enjoy. Hello everybody, I'm Brendan, certified Velo developer at Authoritech. Today I'm going to be teaching you the concept of giving data from a third-party API using Wix's Fetch API. In this example, I will be capturing the user's location, sending that data over to Google Maps, and then um, from that, based on that data, we'll be able to change a drop-down based on the user's location. Required to copy this tutorial is going to be a Google Maps API. I key, um, which instructions will be linked below in the description. There's also multiple videos um, on YouTube here that explain how to get the Google Maps API key. The main concept um, for this video is more to show you how to use the Fetch API. So let's get started. First things first, create a blank template page. Um, all you need to do is add a drop down and then make sure you have dev mode turned on in order to find dev mode it's going to be on this top toolbar here and then turn on dev mode from there what we're going to do is i'm going to copy and paste this into here for now um, all we're going to do is import let's expand that we're going to import wix window and then we're going to import fetch then we're going to name a few variables. Um, we got latitude, longitude, the URL, the API key from Google Maps, and then we're going to name country code. Um, from there, we're going to create an asynchronous function. Uh, let's call it get users location. Then we're going to do await Wix window get user current geolocation. That's what it is. And what this function does is if we go into the Velo reference guide, um, it goes in and it will get the latitude and longitude coordinates of your current location. Um, so from there, looking at this example, we got to go to then and then do an arrow function here. And then we're going to do create a variable data. Then we're going to make latitude. Actually, first. Let's just console log the data so you guys can see what's going on. Uh, 
Oops, I forgot to add get user's location into the w.ready so that loads when we go into preview mode here. And so now it gives us a full list of data, um, basically exactly what it said from the um, get current geolocation function. So we're just going to do exactly what that says. Then we'll make latitude equal to data dot chords dot latitude. Then same for longitude. And then let's console log that as well so we can see exactly what it gives us and it tells us right there that these are my current geolocation coordinates. Next, now that we have our latitude and longitude, I'm going to create another function here called check location. And what this is going to do is it's going to take those coordinates and now we're going to combine the URL here with the key and with the coordinates. So from there, let's add these variables. Um, I got lat lang here, which is going to be latitude plus a comma plus longitude plus the key. And then from there, we're going to take the URL plus lat lang here, which will combine everything. So we can see here, uh, we'll get the full URL. Um, to run that, I'm going to put it right here after get user's location. And then let's run that. And now you can see that the full URL has the um, coordinates embedded into it along with the key. And now this is what we're going to send over to the Google Maps API in order to get um, in order to get our location codes basically. Now finally we're gonna make the fetch call to Google Maps. So in here type down fetch and for the URL we're gonna put in the full URL variable that we created right here and then the options are gonna be a um, JSON data to basically let um, Google Maps know what kind of information we're requesting. So here we're going to type in method is going to be get. Then we're going to want to return a response. And then if the response is good, we're gonna want the uh, we're gonna want to return the JSON data from the Google Maps API. Then we're going to want to take that data, put it into an arrow function here. And then let's just console log the data for now. And let's preview it. So now we're going to get this object here. And inside this object, you'll get. Um, basically a bunch of information about the user's current location. Um, what we're looking for specifically is the country code 
which I know is in here. It's going to be in the zero place. Um, and then it's going to be the sixth option down. Um, then the short name, US. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this name, the short name, and put it into a variable. So let's get out of preview mode here. And then we're going to take that and then put it in the country code variable that we declared earlier. And it's going to equal the data dot results. And then it was in that zeroth place inside of address components. And then inside address components, it was in the sixth place. And then it was the short name. So now if we console log the country code, we should be able to just get US. So now we're going to create another function to change that drop down so that it equals um, the country based off of what location we had. So if country code equals, we'll say US, then we're going to have the drop down placeholder equal United States. So now if we go into preview mode again, it's going to, as soon as it detects our location, it's going to switch um, this drop down in order to be um, the country based off of the country code that it inputs. I apologize, I forgot to add, I forgot to add change drop down into um, check location here. So now, again, if we go try again, it's going to change right here. So that's that. If you need any coding help, please let Michael know and he will get you in contact with us at Authoritech. There you have it, guys. You heard it from Brendan over at Authoritech. If you guys need any help with your Wix development projects, reach out to me. My email's in the description below and I'll reach out or uh, I'll connect you with them. But what I want to know is this was the first ever video like this on the channel and we are looking to expand our content offering. I'm looking to open up guest creators coming on the channel to broaden the horizons really and offer you more Wix content, more advanced content, more diversified content. So what I need you to do, and this is very important, is please comment down below and let me know what your thoughts were of this style video. Also, don't forget to smash that like button for YouTube's algorithm and let's get some thumbs up for Brendan. This was his first video ever here on the channel. In fact, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure first video ever for Brendan, and he did it for us here on Wix Training Academy. And lastly, guys, smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on. You'll instantly plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet. And as you can see, to start off 2021, I've got some really, really big plans and some incredible content in store. I've also got a few sponsored videos coming from Wix. In fact, one was going to be ready to go today, but unfortunately the laptop crashed as I finished a 45 minute video for you guys. That's all right. We'll have it for you early next week. But in the meantime, let's show some love to Brendan and let's show some love to the channel. And we are super excited to have you here. Thank you for watching today's video. I'll catch you on our next one.